Okay, so you've come across a website that makes use of a drop-down menu and you'd like to implement one on your own WordPress website. Well, keep watching because I'm gonna show you how to do this really easily and really quickly, thanks to the magic of Thrive Architect. Let's dive in. Now, before we get started, please note that you do need Thrive Architect installed on your WordPress website in order to follow along this tutorial. We're going to be using it to create simple drop-down menus as well as vertical menus and mega menus as well. All you need to do to get access to Thrive Architect is head over to our website, there's a link in the description box down below, then sign up for Thrive Architect and download our product manager from our website. Install it as a plugin on your own WordPress website and activate your Thrive Architect license. And boom, now we have the best page builder in the market activated on our site and ready to be used. Okay, so step one to creating a drop-down menu on our website is heading over to the menu section of our WordPress backend and creating a new menu. You could technically speaking, create your menu within Thrive Architect itself, but I personally like creating my menus on the backend of WordPress because that way they get stored there and I can reuse them on different pages as opposed to creating a menu on a given landing page and not being able to reuse it on other places. I mean, I could save the menu as a content template inside Thrive Architect and take it with me somewhere else, but it's just best practice to keep our menus nicely organized in the menu section of WordPress and being able to call them and insert them anywhere on our website. Now, keep in mind that when you're creating your WordPress menu, you want to make sure that you're including child elements inside your navigation items. If we don't include sub items for our main navigation items, then you know we won't be able to create a drop-down menu because there won't be a child element to reveal upon hovering over our parent item. Okay, so once we have our menu created, we can now fire up any page with Thrive Architect. And you'll notice that in the right-hand column where all of the Thrive Architect widgets are listed, you can drag and drop the menu widget anywhere on your page. This is going to allow you to insert a menu on your page and right off the bat, Thrive Architect is also going to give us some design customization options that we can pick from. We first need to tell Thrive whether we wish to create a simple menu or a mega menu. We're gonna get to mega menus in a second, but let's just power through with a simple menu for now. And now we need to tell Thrive that we wish to display the menu items from an already existing WordPress menu, which is the one that we just created a few minutes. And as you can see, we have the possibility of starting off from a pre-designed template. There are dozens of templates that we can pick from both vertical and horizontal. Now, most websites make use of a horizontal menu that sits at the very top of the page, but in some use cases, for example, if you're building out a wiki or a content hub, vertical menus that sit on the left-hand side of the screen can come in handy too but let's just power with the horizontal menu for now. And voila, here's our menu. And since we did create child elements for our navigation items, Thrive Architect is going to reveal those in the form of a drop-down menu once we hover over them. It really is that easy. Now, this is a very basic, simple drop-down menu that you can create in just a couple of minutes, but let's quickly take a look at how you can create a little bit of a more fun menu like this one. You see how this drop-down expands and covers more screen real estate? It also has some images and you can insert some more text. We call these types of menus mega menus and they are great for offering a more, you know, a more user-friendly version of a drop-down menu. And believe it or not, they can also get people to click through some of these sub items more often, especially if you have, you know, like an e-commerce store and want to show off some products right within the menu. Now to create a mega menu, we just need to repeat the same exact process that we just did with our simple menu. We drag and drop a menu widget on our page, but this time we'll be selecting the option of creating a mega menu instead of a simple menu. We can start off from a pre-designed template too, and once it's on our page, we now have some more customization options compared to that of a simple menu. We can have each sub item have an image or an icon next to it, and we can also sort navigation items by columns. Now I've seen some beautiful menus get created thanks to mega menus. We are rock and rolling one on our site too, which by the way, there's a link in the description box that you can click on to grab a license to Thrive Architect immediately if you still haven't done so. I'm down in the comments section below in case you have any questions and 
yeah, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you soon. Thank you, bye.